Shimajiro is another Japanese cartoon aimed at very, very young kids. Uh, all the characters in the world are anthropomorphic animals. So Shimajiro himself is a tiger. Uh, his best friend is a parrot. There's a girl in his class who's a cat. Uh, there's a raccoon who's very selfish. His, the raccoon's butler is a goat. There are two kind of bullies in his school, and they're pigs. So all the characters are animals, and that's just the way the world is. The goal of the show is to essentially teach kids to be polite, uh, kindness, to, be, to show courtesy to others. There is an inordinate amount of time on toilet training. They have pee songs and poop songs and let your parents know when your pee bucket is almost full, these kind of things. And honestly, all really good lessons for kids to learn. Uh, and it all sounds very innocent. So this is one of the shows that I actually approve of for kids watching, unlike last week's episode of Ampa Man, which is a travesty on all fronts. The darkness of this world comes from the fact that Shimajiro has a favorite food. And the Japanese for it is beef steak, but it's not actually steak. It's basically a hamburger patty, uh, usually with some kind of gravy on it. Now, in an anthropomorphic animal world, beef still has to come from cows. But if all the animals are essentially sentient, they are eating another species of people or another race. So it depends what you would consider the differences between the animals. In this world, there are cow people that are being round up slaughtered and eaten and that is something that no one's going to notice unless you really take a moment and think about the world that's been constructed so i can only assume there are internment camps or concentration camps uh, large farms where these cow people are being bred and held and kept for food you could attempt to justify it as it being humane uh, that they're being taken care of. But the fact remains that for the characters to be able to eat meat, that meat has to come from a source, and that source in this world is going to be another kind of person. As I said, uh, one of the two bullies in the school are two little pigs. Now, I after I noticed this sort of strange, disturbing element of the world that was created in Shimajiro, I started watching for the foods that they ate very specifically. So they eat ice cream, they eat a lot of dairy products, uh, they eat vegetables, and they eat beef. I've never seen them eat bacon or ham. Now, my kids stopped watching this show, so it's been a while since I've seen it, but I was purposefully paying attention for the foods they ate to see if they ate any other kinds of meat, because if they ate bacon or ham... It might be justified as there are sentient anthropomorphic pigs and non-sentient anthropomorphic pigs or something like that. Or if they ever visited a farm and they saw some cows and pigs in the background, but that never happened. So the only conclusion that can really be made is that in the world of Shimajiro, there is a Soylent Green type conspiracy going on in the background that everyone is just quietly ignoring.